Hi guys, welcome back, part two, Steve the Transit Camper. Glad you could stick around. I've got that switch from Amazon. Cost me uh, 13 pound delivered, because we use Amazon Prime. And we're just gonna pop that on. It's a short little video, see you in a minute. Okay guys, so this is the switch. Exactly the same as the one I've used before. It's completely over the top for what I want. I just want a simple isolator, which when I'm not using the van for three or four days in a row, I can just flick it off and I can forget about any consumption going out of my battery without me knowing about it. So as we saw in part one, we found that one uh, current that is being pulled out, uh, but we're gonna sort that just by putting a switch in it. That's that um, microphone thing, the uh, tannoy system that I put in. So we're gonna just put a switch on that so that's isolated and I just switch it on as I need it. And we're gonna put this switch between the battery live terminal and the fuse box. It's a simple fix and I'd recommend it to everyone. The only thing it does lose for us is if you switch it off, you're gonna have to reset that clock every time. And I still haven't reset it from last time so that's how much it bothers me. So this is a switch that I'm one gonna be able to be accessible from the outside. So I'm gonna put it on the outside of my uh, panel where uh, I call it the heart of the beast and I where all my terrible wiring is all amassed. I'm gonna put it on the outside just above the battery charger. Let me show you. There we are. So I am gonna mount that there very simply. And then when I get in the van, it'll remind me and it's easy accessible. I don't have to take the seat off every time to get to the isolator. It's the same switch as the one I've got for my battery there which looking at that now, I fit it upside down, which doesn't matter. The great thing is I saved myself a bit of money because I already had these long battery leads, which I'm just gonna loop. They'll come out from the back of here and straight to there. Yeah, they'll go over the top, but I don't care. Just want the job done now, really. I've been ill for the last couple of days with a chest infection. Yeah, everybody thinks, oh, you got the coronavirus and you got the Delta, have you got the Omicron? Oh, I've just got a chest infection. I haven't even bothered tested this time because I know what a chest infection feels like. Martin Butler, you just had it as well. Uh, it's not the Omicron, is it? And I hope you're getting better now. So I've cut a piece of felt out because if you start drilling this felt, it'll just twist around, it'll rip the whole lot off. Before you know it, you've skinned not only your van, but probably yourself as well. So cut a piece of felt and I'm just gonna drill through there. That's my hole drill, it's just enough to get those two cables in through the, into the back of the switch. And then the one end will go straight to the live, <clears throat> through the switch, and then back to the fuse board. Very simple. These cables are completely over the top, but if it's what you got, it's what you use. Just drill through the back end. Cables are there. I'm just gonna get the hoover and tidy up a bit. So there we are, looking a bit neater now. Let's get the uh, terminals connected. And these are just huge terminals underneath and uh, I've just split those ends just so I can tuck them under and bolt them in they'll be fine there we are both connected and that will all squeeze up tight it doesn't matter which terminal goes to where it's just a switch so there we are nice and simple off that way on that way perfect So there we are, we're all connected now. Like I say, I've just gone across there. Originally, I, I had this that you could undo it and you could drop it down, but I've never ever used it. It was uh, part of the design I never required. So my cables are going over the top, all in the way. That's the way I do everything. And then this is my main battery isolator. 
and there we have it lights are on and everything's cool and i'm going to leave that one off until i find a switch it's too cold to carry on doing any of this today really but i'm going to leave that off until i find a switch that i can probably mount there or something next to it we'll work all that out in the future but i wanted my number one job was to get this switch fitted i've got an isolator for the van now it's perfect well pleased to get that job out of the way that doesn't look too bad does it superb so it's a lovely sunny day out here and that was just a little short project fitting an isolator isolate your batteries from any problems you can just switch them off for seven days and forget about it when you're not using your van I would imagine they have them in caravans, but I don't know. And even modern camper vans as well. But anyway, you've been watching See The Transit Camper. Thanks for watching. Thanks for stopping by. You hit that like and subscribe. That'd be cool. See you next time.